All right, so in this video, I wanted to go through one thing, and that is a workspace versus a base. So what you see here is you see both. So you can see there's this area up here, and then there's these little things right here with these different cards, bug checker, project checker, open Siders introduction course, all of these. And all you need to know is there's two major things here. So there's this first workspace, which is all of this up here. And then there's another workspace, which is all of this down here. So all three of these bases, or all of three of these cards right here are part of the Open Siders Introduction course workspace. And all of these five cards right here, these are part of, part of my first workspace. So you can also see your workspaces over here on the left. You can see there's two workspaces in this account. And then within the workspace, here we have these five bases. And within this workspace, we have these three bases. Now this is the basis for the introduction course to Airtable. So we're not gonna go through those in this video, but these five bases up here, we can go through. So we can, for example, go through the product catalog. And within a base, you'll have a base description and you can also have tables. And then in the other course, we'll break it down into all the different views, the different sorting, grouping, filtering, all the records, all the different tables you might want to have, different apps, different automations, and really everything from the base level down. But up here, the top level view, these are your different bases. So you might have a user research base, product catalog base, bug tracker base, your whole business does not have to live inside of one base. You can separate it out, maybe separate marketing, client fulfillment, sales, etc., etc. So this is where all of your bases live. And you one of your in your business, you probably have one workspace for all of your bases within your business. Now again, you can separate these bases out into different departments in your business. Uh, someone asked a question not too long ago in the built on air Slack community about how they should be structuring their workspaces and their problem was they had one administration office and then that administration office had three communities and they wanted to separate the sharing between the different communities have one community only be able to see their certain tasks and their certain info and so how that works best and here if you don't use something like stacker an external tool is you can have one workspace for the entire business where the admin would get shared on that and you can see that up here if you click share you can see adding a workspace collaborator will give them access to all bases within this workspace so they did that for the admins where everybody who's an admin gets to see all of the bases within the workspace and then they just shared each base so they only had three bases one for each community and that was base one or community one community two community three for base one base two base three and they would just share everybody in community one to base one, which you can do right here. You can share that with that link and you can just send that to their emails. And then they shared everybody in community two to base two, as well as so on and so forth with base three. So that is the basics of the workspace versus the base. If you have any questions, you can ping me in the built on air Slack community. I'd love to hear from you. and. If anything changes, I'll update this, but this is how it's set up now. You can also view it a different way by viewing these bases in a list. So these are still bases. They're just note noted in a different way. So you can see these are longer now. It's not quite as aesthetic, I think, as the other way. I like the grid view, but these are still bases. So user research is one base, bug tracker is still one base, product planning is still one base, and so on and so forth you are curious about the sharing functionality, we'll actually be going into that into the next video where we go through levels of sharing and collaborators from the workspace level to the base level to the table and field level and everything in between. So stick around for that and I'll see you in the next one.